So you want to use a Raycast in Godot, but for whatever reason you don't want to use a Raycast node. In this Godot tutorial, I'm going to teach you about Raycasting with code. I've created a character named Ray, a completely random name off the top of my head, and his entire purpose is to demonstrate Raycasts. He consists of a kinematic body with a capsule shaped collision shape and a capsule mesh instance, and he's got a camera for demonstration purposes. This isn't important, so you can copy this exactly if you want, or you can do your own thing, it doesn't matter. Click on Ray and create a new script, call it whatever you want. The first thing we're going to do is go into Project and Project Settings, and in the Input Map tab, add a new action called Fire. Then click on the plus icon to the right of the action, select Mouse button, select Left button in the pull down menu, and click add. Then in the script write func underscore physics process delta. Raycasting only works in physics process so don't forget about that. Then write if input dot is action just pressed fire var direct state equals get world dot direct space state. In Godot physics information like collisions are contained in this mysterious shadow realm called space. I don't know much about it but we need to get access to space for raycasting to work. This is our access point and we're calling it direct state though you can name it whatever you want. Then write var collision equals direct state dot intersect ray transform dot origin vector 3 0 0 minus 20. Here we're telling Godot that we want to get access to space which if you remember we decided to call direct state and we want to get access to space so that we can create an intersect ray which is our raycast. Inside the parentheses, we can tell Godot what we want the raycast to do. Here, we're telling Godot where our raycast will start. In this case, it's transform.origin, which is the location of our character in the game world. And here is where we want the raycast to end. You can change this to any coordinate you want in your project, but these are the coordinates I'm using for this tutorial. What we're saying here is that in the event that something intersects the invisible line between our raycast start point and end point, that event is called collision. You can change collision to whatever name you want. I'm just calling it collision because I lack creativity. So now we can make the game do something if collision happens, right? If collision, print collision dot position. Position is just the coordinate of where the collision happened in the game world. Now, if you run the game and you click the fire button, the game will shoot an invisible line or a ray cast between the two points that we defined earlier. And if there is a collision, the console will print a coordinate that shows where the collision took place. In this case, it has collided with the floor. Congratulations, you now know how to create a ray cast in code. There are many uses for raycasts and many reasons why you'd want to create a raycast in code and it's extremely useful in game development. With it you can make your character interact with the world, you can create weapons for first person shooters, you can do all kinds of things. In the future I'll be making tutorials on how to do all of these things and more, but until then, if you liked the video, like it, subscribe it, share it, bell it, and comment it. Thank you, have a nice day.